In this task, you will export the map in two parts, one part for the base map, one part for the proportional symbols. The reason two exports are required is the raster hill shade and the transparency effects of the vector layers cannot be exported to the PDF as a vector file. To maintain these effects, the export must first be rasterized, which prevents us from getting access to the vector data. Therefore, we will export the proportional symbols layer separately as we will want to move and manipulate those in Inkscape. So in QGIS, with the Syria map project loaded, I'm going to turn off the visibility of the refugees and IDP layers. So first I'm going to turn off rendering so that I can quickly uh, turn off the visibility. I'm going to turn rendering back on. And what we're going to be left, at, left with is the base map. Now that we have the base map, I'm going to create a new print composer by clicking Project, New Print Composer, and I'm going to name it Syria, and then click OK. Inside the Print Composer, I'm going to click the Composition tab, and for the page size, I'm going to click Custom, and for the width, I'm going to choose 220, and for the height, I'm going to choose 205. I want the landscape to be uh, orientation to be landscape. For the page background, I'm going to click on Simple Fill and set the fill style to No Brush and the border style to No Pen. I'm going to click OK, and you can see the background has now disappeared. Next, I'm going to check Print as Raster. This will be checked for our first export of the base map. Since we don't need to modify the vector information on the base map in Inkscape, we're going to rasterize it so that it can live together with the um, hill shade layer. Okay, I'm going to click the Add New Map button, and I'm going to draw a large box on the composition window. I'm then going to click on Item Properties after I select it. Let's wait for it to render here. It's selected. In Item Properties, I'm going to set the scale to 3,500,000. And I pressed Enter on the keyboard, so it's scaling it. For the position and size, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, waiting for the computer to catch up with me. And right, so position and size, uh, I want the X and the Y to be zero, and I want the width to be 220 and the height to be 205. And lastly, I'm going to uncheck background, so we don't have to deal with another background layer. Then I'm going to use the Move Content button to move my Syria uh, map up to where I can see uh, a good bit of uh, Egypt and still see a large amount of Turkey. So I'm going to uh, drag it up here just a little bit and maybe just a slight bit more. And I think I'm going to be happy with where it's at there. So now that my map is composed, I want to export it as a PDF. So I'm going to click Composer, Export as PDF. And I'm going to name this in my lab directory Syria Base Map. I'm going to click Save. And now that's exported. So now we're going to hide the base map and only show the proportional symbols and then export those proportional symbols as a vector PDF. So I'm going to close the Print Composer to return to QGIS. I'm going to turn off rendering while I turn on and off visibility. So I'm going to turn off all of the base map layers and I'm going to turn on the uh, refugee and IDP layer. Okay, I am then going to go back to project. I'm going to actually turn on rendering first here. There we go. So you can see we have our proportional symbols only. I'm then going to click on project print composers and I'm going to go back to that Syria print composer. Now, it didn't update my map, which is normal behavior, so to update it with it selected, I'm going to click on Item Properties, and then click Update Preview. Perfect. Now I have what I want, and so I'm going to click on Composition, and I'm going to uncheck Print as Raster. So we have this unchecked because we want to export these proportional symbols as vector objects in the PDF, so we can manipulate them in Inkscape later. So now that we just have the proportional symbols uh, on the map and they're composed, I'm going to click Composer, Export as PDF. I'm then going to name this file Syria Proportional Symbols and save that in my lab directory. And that's all we need to do for composing the map in QGIS. Normally you would leave QGIS open so you can query the attributes for labeling the country names and proportional symbol values. However, this will be provided for you in the next lab when you complete the map design, so you can close QGIS and Print Composer to save system resources.